State police are searching for two men who escaped from Clinton Correctional Facility. Officials say 48-year-old Richard Matt and 34-year-old David Sweat were not in their cells during a bed check at 5.30 this morning. Dana Mora, we bring you that update now in its entirety. Okay. Good afternoon. Um, today here at Clinton Correctional Facility, which was open in 1865, We've had two inmates escape. This is the two convicted killers who escaped the state's largest maximum security prison are still on the loose as hundreds of law enforcement personnel continue to search for them. In an escape described by the governor as something from a movie script. Investigators are looking into how they were able to pull it off. Time Warner Cable News reporter Matt Hunter is in Danamora with the latest. So it took a number of days to accomplish what they accomplished. Making the rounds on the national and New York City talk show circuit Monday morning, Governor Andrew Cuomo marveled at the scope of the escape plan hatched by convicted murderers Richard Matt and David Sweat. This really could have been a movie script, and if you saw it as a movie script, it would have been unbelievable, frankly. Two escape murderers remain at large tonight. Good evening, everybody. I'm Solomon Sayed. And I'm Kate Welsh. Show for state and federal law enforcement officers continue to search for David Sweat and Richard Matt. Both escaped from the maximum security Clinton Correctional Facility in Danamora Friday night or early Saturday. They used power tools to cut through a pipe and escaped through a manhole on the outside of the prison. Yeah, that's right, Kate. And throughout the day today, dozens of officers searching the area around the Essex County town of Willsboro. This after they received a tip that two suspicious people were seen there last night. And that's where we have found all day long our Jeff Reddick with the latest for us. Jeff, what's going on there now? Well, good evening, Solomon and Kate. Most of the search crews have retired here to the Essex County Sheriff's Office, where they are refueling vehicles and regrouping their mission after what apparently became a fruitless day of searching. There you are looking at that press conference right now going on live in Danamora. Let's listen First, in. I'd like to start by reassuring the community that we're doing all that we can to ensure their safety during this search and this investigation. I want to right now bring in Jeff Reddick, who is on the ground there in Danamora. He heard everything the governors had to talk about as well as state police. And Jeff, uh, your reaction to what they had to say? Well, uh, first, that it was uh, rather short. There wasn't a lot of opportunity to throw questions to the governors, uh, either of them, really, before this news conference was ended. Uh, but like you say, a lot of information there. I, I found it particularly interesting that there's this balance, Solomon, of trying to tell people, well, you don't need to be afraid, you're protected, and yet really stressing how dangerous these men were. And I refer at one point to uh, a quote from Governor Cuomo, who said that these men are killers, they are murderers, and there is no reason to believe that they would not do it again because they. The family of escaped inmate David Sweat is now speaking out from their home in the southern tier about his violent past and behavior problems, which they say started at a very young age. Sweat has been serving a life sentence without parole for killing a Broome County Sheriff's deputy back in 2002. His mother, Pamela Sweat, says David began acting out when he was just nine. Also, the very latest on that continued search for those two killers in the North Country. We got an update from New York State Police a short time ago. They have arrested 51-year-old Joyce Mitchell. They gave us an update. Let's let you watch that now in its entirety. Good evening. I'm Major Charles Guest, Troop B Commander of the New York State Police. Today, we've arrested 51-year-old Joyce Mitchell of Dickinson Center, New York for her role in providing material support to David Sweat and Richard Matt with their escape from the Clinton Correctional Facility. As well, and here we see Joyce Mitchell coming in for her arraignment this evening in court, facing two charges, promoting prison contraband and criminal facilitation in the efforts to help Richard Matt and David Sweat make their escape from the Clinton Correctional Facility. And it appears that we right, do have uh, audio inside that courtroom, so we're going to let you listen in right now. Mr. Bruno, could you 2002, a gun theft in Pennsylvania, a confrontation to the north near Binghamton, a deputy sheriff killed. David Sweat was charged and convicted in the killing. 
There was no death penalty available. He was sent to prison for life without parole. Tarsia family members thought they'd seen the last of David Sweat until his escape at Danamora. We was always wondering if they could get away, you know. But then he says, oh, maximum security. I think that's their resting place. What the Tarsia family didn't know was that over a decade behind bars, David Sweat had behaved well enough to qualify for special treatment, housing in an honor cell block, granting special privileges from greater freedom of movement to wearing civilian clothing. I don't think anybody expects that somebody who killed a police officer and is convicted of murder in the first degree are going to see honor privileges that you would expect maybe nonviolent felons to get. It's a concern shared by members of state senate and assembly corrections committees. I mean, this is ludicrous. He has no business of being in the honor block at all. And now you take that person who's escaped and he's put everyone in the North Country in jeopardy. Prosecutors across New York have argued for years that the state courts made a mistake, ruling the death penalty unconstitutional, eliminating some alternatives for dealing with crimes. When the narrative is, is cornered and painted that life in prison is an appropriate sentence and it's just as effective as a death penalty, this is an example where it's not. Trumpio and others saying they now worry about the lack of consequences as two brutal killers try to avoid recapture. They have nothing to lose. There's nothing for them to lose. There's nothing for them to lose to escape, try to escape, to kill somebody during the escape, to kill somebody while they're in prison. Albany is expecting to see hearings in the days to come and a top to bottom review of correction needs. Higher level of security, trained COs, and more of them. New York City likes to save a lot of money. This is not the place to do it. They've endangered the population right now of the Adirondacks. Bill Carey, Time Warner Cable News. Okay, breaking news at this hour. We are learning there is heavy police activity right now in the Franklin County area, and there are reports that escaped inmate Richard Matt has been shot by authorities. We are getting that from two police sources right now. Again, that Richard Matt, one of those escaped killers from Clinton Correctional Facility, has been shot by authorities. Now, as far as David Sweat goes, we have no confirmation on his whereabouts or well-being right now. And we should mention as well the information, that latest information that Saul was just telling you about Sweat, that is about an hour old now, but we are hoping now to find the very latest information. There you see Governor Cuomo preparing to give his remarks as we learn the very latest. Thank you. Good evening uh, to all of you. Okay, we want to thank you for joining us here on Town Winter Cable News at 11 o'clock. For those of you who have been following along with us all day today, you are up to date on the latest. For those of you joining us just now, we're going to get you caught up on everything. Richard Matt, one of those escaped prisoners from Clinton Correctional Facility, is dead. David Sweat, however, the man who broke out with him, is still on the loose. That's right, Sal. Some major developments this afternoon and into this evening. We want to get you the very latest now from our Brian Dwyer, who is in Malone. Hi, Brian. Well, Kate and Sal, earlier today, the governor, Governor Andrew Cuomo and state police representatives and actually representatives from numerous police agencies from around not only the country, uh, but not only the state, but also the country as well, were in Malone to announce the death of Richard Matt. The 49-year-old was shot earlier this afternoon by police. They had given him the chance to give up. He did not do so. He had a 20-gauge shotgun on him, and police did not want to take any chances and shot him. He is dead. But the other escapee, David Sweat, as you mentioned, is still on the loose, and police are now out in full force in this area here, about 10 miles south of Malone, trying to find him. And that's right, Kay, only half a weight lifted because the other half of that weight, David Sweat, still on the loose. That's what the governor told us. That's what the state police superintendent told us as well. For the latest on the search for David Sweat, we want to send it now to Tamara Lindstrom. She is in Duane. That is the site of where that cabin was where authorities smelled gunpowder shortly after that camper was fired upon, and that eventually resulted in Richard Matt being shot and killed. Tamara, what's the latest on the situation in Duane? 
Well, Saul, we are just about five miles south of where that happened, where Richard Matt was shot and killed. And police here, well, like you said, half of this may be over. Certainly, there is a lot of danger left. Troopers behind me are vigilantly checking all vehicles that come up to this area and turning them away. That's because we are on the southernmost edge of that search area. And late this afternoon, when the word begin, began to come out that Richard Matt had, in fact, been shot and killed by police. We want to go deeper into that side of the story now. Our Jeff Reddick in the newsroom for us with more on that. Hi, Jeff. Hi, guys. A long run for Richard Matt, the escaped murderer, ended Friday in the most final way possible at the business end of a Border Patrol agent's gun. And we're going to kick off the four o'clock hour a little early with some breaking news. Two law enforcement sources telling Time Warner Cable News Matthew Sweat has been captured. Unknown condition, but police tell us he has also been shot. Well, you're looking at that picture right now again on your screen. This provided to us from CNN. That is David Sweat just moments after he was captured. And also we have Tamara Lindstrom not far away from where this all took place. She's joining us right now as part of our team coverage there. And Tamara, what's the latest on the ground there? Just a, a few short feet, really, from where David Sweat was apprehended. Absolutely, Saul. We were here just minutes after he was apprehended, and I have to tell you, it was a different scene then than it is now. As you can see right now, you know, there off to the left is uh, Clinton County DA Andrew Wiley, who will be prosecuting uh, some of these individuals because they broke out of the facility in his jurisdiction. Let's Thank listen you. in now live. Well, we are here with good news, as I'm sure you've heard already. The nightmare is finally over. It took 22 days, uh, but we can now confirm as of two days ago, as you know, uh, Mr. Matt uh, is deceased, and the other escapee, Mr. Sweat, uh, is in custody. From David Sweat, our Tanja Reiki now joining us outside of Albany Medical Center. That is where David Sweat is expected to be admitted for treatment for that gunshot wound. Tanja, what is the latest down there? Well, Solomon, just a little while ago, we did see a large number of state trooper cars as well as an ambulance transporting what we believe to be David Sweat. Now we were waiting here for hours for the escaped inmate to arrive here on scene. And when he arrived here on scene, you could hear the crowd erupting. Doctors emerging right now at the podium at Albany Medical Center. We're going to get an update on David Sweat's condition. Let's take you there now live. Good evening, everybody. I'm Solomon Syed, and a big night, as many of you know, here on Time Winter Cable News and throughout the state of New York. The search for David Sweat coming to an end this afternoon. David Sweat spotted by and shot by a state trooper in the town of Constable 23 days after he and inmate Richard Matt escaped from Clinton Correctional Facility. Back up in the North Country near the Canadian border, that's where it all started this afternoon. A three plus week long search for these two men finally coming to an end. Time Warner Cable News reporter Tamara Lindstrom has more now on how it all unfolded. Today ends with good news. For 23 days, law enforcement from all over the country chased down leads and combed through forests. Less than an hour ago, David Sweat admitted into Albany Medical Center for the gunshot wounds that he sustained to his torso. Or Tanja Reiki has been at Albany Medical Center the entire evening. Tanja, what's the latest on the situation there? Well, Solomon, it is the end of some very trying weeks. And when we were here just an hour ago, Manhunt is over for David Sweat, the man who planned and executed an escape from the Clinton Correctional Facility three weeks ago. Our Alexa Green, though, spoke to Sweat's mother, Pamela Sweat, earlier today. Alexa joining us now to tell us more about what she had to say. Hi, Alexa. Hi, Saul. Well, Pamela Sweat says she's relieved her son was captured alive. She says the past few weeks have been a living nightmare for the family.